Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All praise unto the Heavenly Father, Shunem is Yahweh. In the name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, Shunem is Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rekakwadash. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to my apostles and my elders, a great millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honors to you, faithful. I can push in the word and faith sincerity across the four corners. It's the brother you died from GMS Atlanta Church. Wanted to get into this uh, this article <clears throat> through the spirit. And um, I'm going to entitle this lesson, Janelle Monet and pansexuality is going to get a lot of you women destroyed. Because this is an article that came out about about a week ago that I came across. But um have an opportunity now to actually do my lesson on this article. And... Um, yeah, pretty much, man. Um, you know, these, I, I guess I'll say new age um, idea, sexual ideologies, which really is just a continuation. Uh, it's the um, reemergence of, um, you know, things that happened in the past that are coming back to light now. But the most high is allowing these things to be magnified. In this particular day and age, because pretty much people have always wanted to live their life in certain ways that were against um, the laws and commandments given to us through the Holy Scriptures. So now this is this this is the actual day and age in which the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is allowing these, um, like I said, these uh, sexual ideologies to reemerge, so that uh, people who've always lived their life this way or wanted to live their life their lives this way can actually um do it and then reap reap um proper judgment or um um equivalent judgment to the way that they want to live this is romans 15 and 4 for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope because, like I said, this you know this whole pansexual um, ideology, you know, it's, it's, it's these are things that have happened in the past. You know, now a, a big difference now may be certain um, medical and technological advances. You know, th uh, certain. Um, you know, treatments, hormone treatments and, and medical things that people can get done now to make them appear and feel more so, you know, how they feel um, more so appear, you know, and project it, project an image outwardly about how they feel inwardly. But these um, the these ide sexual ideologies, man, they, they go back, you know. In now, uh, you know, in other points in history, but I'm gonna get into this article and I'm gonna elaborate. And Lord willing, you edified uh, through the Spirit and power. You have a by me, how a shot. This is from blavity.com. Um, <laughs> what a name! But this article is entitled Janelle Monet officially comes out as pansexual, says she feels like a free ass motherfucker. All right. <laughs> And the author is Ashley Atwell. Um, all right. So in news that makes us, well, in news that makes some, I'm not going to say us or me, want to throw glitter everywhere, Janelle Monet has come out as pansexual. And this is going to be a term that is going to be uh, pushed and used more and more um, going forward. You know, it's going to be a, a term that's going to become more and more mainstream, being pansexual. And I'm going to get into uh, that definition a little bit more uh, later in the lesson and then go into how actually this um, specific ideology is um, is proof of, once again, things that were written for time being written for our learning today, but also how it's also... Um, it's like biblical prophecy, honestly, you know, um, to continue on in, in the article, Monet graced Rolling Stone's latest cover and opened up about her sexual identity 
and so much more in her interview. Being being a quote, being a queer black woman in America, which what a title it is to 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 dub yourself a queer black woman in America, because really, you know, so-called uh, black women or black people, you know, so-called African-Americans, more than likely you really go back to the tribe of Judah, you know, um, which is the, the head tribe of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So that's why I say, you know, dubbing yourself a queer black woman, that's a that's a that's a mighty that's a that's a mighty uh, low title, man. <laughs> All right. Being a queer black woman in America, someone who has been in relationships with both men and women, I consider myself to be a free ass motherfucker, she said. The pink singer said she had initially identified as bisexual, but upon further research, she felt like pansexual was a better fit. A pansexual is defined as someone who is not limited to se- limited in sexual choice with regard to biological sex, gender, or gender identity. So, biological. So, a pansexual is someone who doesn't limit themselves um, by what someone by a sex that someone was born to. Let me get. Uh, let me look up the word gender real quick. All right, so um, yeah, so biological, biological uh, sex that you were born to, and just looking up gender, it says the state of being male or female. Um, typically used with reference to social and cultural differences rather than biological ones. So gender, that would be. Like your your current state, you know. So I guess you know in today's society, you can you can actually change your uh, your biological sex through changing your gender. It's just confusion, man. Um, let me get that preset real quick. This is just confusion, man, which goes to show you that this whole spirit is, um, it's not of the most high, man. It's not of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. First Corinthians 14 and 33 for Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. So yeah, just, just me just reading this paragraph, man, it's just like, man, this is not other spirit, man, because it's just confusing. Like, if you're born a man, if you're born a a boy and, you know, later grow into a man, just stay a man. Just stay a man, you know. If you're born a woman, just stay a woman. That's the way the Most High created you, all right? Now, you changing your gender, your biological sex to match the gender that you believe or, you know, just having a different gender identity man it's just confusion man it's not of the the spirit and the truth given to us by you how about show me how shy all right quote continuing on i read about pansexuality and was like oh these are things that i identify with too i'm open to learning more about who i am she continues so she she read about it and it clicked in her spirit just like with us we came across the truth you know uh more than likely through a youtube video and when we saw it it's clicked and that's because most i created you know this to resonate with our spirit just like this pansexuality identification the most i created janelle monet to be a pansexualist all right, that's who she is. This this is this is one of the doctrines that she as a queer black woman adheres to. All right. Until now, Monet has dodged questions about her sexuality, but she says queer themes have always been present in her music. So let me stop here. I'm going to stop here and come back because um one thing that even me just, you know, um 
knowing about this 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 chick this late this this chick man it's called a chick all right just um knowing about her and just kind of you know just seeing her and um you know just be her in the world one thing that always caught my eye about her was her clothing you know, she very rarely wore, like, colors. Like, she very, very often, more likely than not, always tended to wear black and white clothing, right? Like, if I just, I just typed in her name, and this is her. And she, um, like I said, tended to wear black and, wh- black and white clothing, and then uh, and she might mix in red. Like, she would have red lipstick, you know? Like black and white, and that always that always caught my eye. Even back then, when I didn't, I wasn't awoke, awakened to the truth yet. And it's all, and she would wear like, um, like men's clothing, like tuxedos, and you know, certain dress, um, form, more formal attire. See, like this, these are examples. Just her wearing uh, black, white, a lot of black and white, and mixing that splash red into it and then there's her wearing uh so it's like a, a white tuxedo and then it's always it's kind of just like man why is something there's something about this chick man that you know like why does she do that but it makes a lot of sense now uh, i just typed in um black and white dualism and it says the contrast, this is from just from Wikipedia, you know, real quick, I just typed it in. The contrast of white and black, light and darkness, day and night, has a long tradition of metaphoric usage traceable to the ancient Near East. And the, na- <clears throat> the ancient Near East, I just uh, clicked that, that, um, that link, um, was the home of early civilizations within a region roughly corresponding to... The modern Middle East, Mesopotamia, modern day Iraq, southeast, southeast Turkey, southwest Iran, northeastern Syria, and Kuwait. All right, it's just for reference point of what the ancient Near East is. <coughs> Excuse me. Skipping down a bit. Um, in Western culture, as well as in Confucianism, the contrast symbolizes the moral dichotomy of good and evil. So this is just, like I said, I just type that in real quick just to get the, go into that a little bit, but white, black and white dualism, because like I said, um, that was one thing that always caught my eye about this chick, man, was her, her, her choice in clothing, like the color schemes, the patterns, and then how she would like, even here, this picture right here, which you can't, the top right corner where you see she's you can tell she's playing on dualism, all right? Like I said, contrast between black and white, you know, so-called evil and darkness. You know, just just for symb- for symbolism, right? And then she would um like I said, also wear women's clothing and men's clothing like this tuxedo right here in the top right. You know, uh the top left where um you know, like I said the color schemes and the patterns, top right, now she's wearing a, a suit, like a men's suit, you know, and it always just caught my eye, you know. Um, and then, like I said, the, the only color she would tend to really throw in there was uh, was red. She would wear black, white, and uh, and add in splashes and touches of red. And this is, this is from colormatters.com, the meanings of red. Red is the color of extremes. You know, so it's kind of like she's playing a balance between black and white, but then she throws in that extreme at the same time, man. This this chick is, um, it wouldn't surprise me if she was, you know, um, it wouldn't surprise me if she was utilizing t- certain levels of, of witchcraft and magic, you know, to really try to gain uh, an influence in, in her arena, which is, you know, entertainment, you know. Red is the color of extremes. It's the color of passionate love, seduction, violence, danger, anger, and adventure. All right. Our prehistoric ancestors saw red as the color of fire and blood, energy, and primal life forces. And most of red's symbolism today arises from its powerful associations in the past. 
All right. So, yeah, like I said, it wouldn't surprise me. You know, she it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, in um, more ancient times or, you know, past times that she had a heavy influence to push this this agenda as well, which um, pansexualism. All right. Um, This is from Google. It's typed in pansexual. And it says, not once again, not limited in sexual choice with regard to biological sex, gender, or gender identity. All right. And I'm going to get into the uses of that in a second or two. But let me get back to the article. All right. Continuing on. It says, until now, Monet has dodged questions about her sexuality. But she says queer themes have always been present in her music. She cites songs, Mushrooms and Roses and Queen as examples. The latter was originally titled Queer. All right. But it says (coughs) until now. No. um, No, I'm going to read that. Reread that. It says until now, Monet has dodged questions about her sexuality. But she says queer themes have have always been present in her music. And that and that once again that just goes to um show that you know even me you know back in uh you know back before you know I was aware of the truth you would hear certain things about you know certain artists and you know it would be more or less that they're pushing certain agendas and themes in their music and you may or may not believe it like me I wasn't really a big believer in it. I was like man whatever you know it's like people are going to always look into things more than you know, it might have merit, but here, you know, as you grow in, in in understanding of just how certain things are in the world, it goes to show you, man. Yeah, these 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 things have certain energies behind them. You know, they they especially music. A lot of darker messages are clouded. You know, in in um in the music. All right. Um. So yeah, you got to be careful and circumspect about what you actually put into your vessel one major thing being music all right because she says she's she's always she says she has queer themes always have been present in her music always have queer themes which i have um and this is this is crazy i went into the uh etymology of the word queer which goes back to uh the 15th century so <clears throat> the 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 word queer uses the, it used as an adjective really goes back to being strange, peculiar, or eccentric. From Scottish, perhaps from a low German, um, oblique off center. All right. So if you call yourself a queer, you're actually saying that you're strange. You're pretty much saying you're a weirdo, man. You know, you identifying as queer, you're pretty much saying that you're strange and that you're a weirdo. All right. That you're off center. That you, you know, you, you just not, you're not flying straight, man. You know, and that would be, um, at verse of the scriptures as well, because we know that we have to walk through a straight gate, a straight gate, you know, um, that's so narrow and so tight that only one person or one, one man or one soul can walk therein at a time. All right. Now, it, now, as far as this word queer being used as a homo in terms of homosexual, it goes, uh, says first recorded in 1922, the noun in this sense, 1935 <clears throat> from the adjective, but yeah, man, it's it's pretty much these words which have a certain vibration and energy behind them, whether people know it or not. You're pretty much calling yourself a, a, a strange, peculiar weirdo, all right? If you if you identify yourself as a queer, all right. <coughs> and that's not that's not my own personal interpretation. That's actually what the word goes back to, all right? So, you know, feel free if you want to call yourself a queer, you're a weirdo. Um. If you listen to my albums, it's there, she said. Um, her latest project, Dirty Computer, is no different. Quote, I want young girls, young boys, non-binary, which I don't even know what she means. But she's, man, I don't, what does that mean? See, once again, that goes into the confusion. Because what do you mean? Because, I, I mean, I know what a non-binary number is, you know, but... How do you, what do you mean when you put that in the context? There we go. Okay. All right. All right. Something new every day. (laughs) 
So this this is this is just complete madness, man. This is just freaking madness. Gender queer, also term termed non-binary, is a catch-all category for gender identities that are not exclusively masculine or feminine. Identities which are outside the gender binary and cis cis normativity. Gender queer people may express a combination of masculinity and femininity or neither in their gender expression. So if you're non non binary pretty much says that being a man or a woman can't describe you. Man, whatever, man. All right. If you wanna man, if you wanna go by this bullshit, this this Complete fucking madness, man. Hey, and this is why I say Janelle Monet, this pansexuality, this freaking non-binary, just mishmash of just madness, it's gonna get a lot of you people destroyed, man. All right, by by the the heavenly Father and and the Messiah, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, it's gonna get a lot of you people destroyed. Cause you think it's just cool to just be out here and just be whatever the hell you want to be, just do whatever the f- hell you want to do, just just sexually just be anything that you want to be, and the most I created things for a reason. At the end, at the end of the the. Uh, the the days of creation, the Most High said that the creations were good, man. Because they are good, they were good, they are good. All right, you don't have to change what you already are. If you actually embrace what you already are, you'll feel more comfortable. But in today's society, you we're wrong for saying that, and that's why that's why the Most High Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gonna destroy a lot of you. Weirdos, man. A lot of you queers. <laughs> a lot of you queers are going to get destroyed, man. Because you're weirdos. <sighs> I want young girls, young boys, non-binary, gay, straight, queer people who are having a hard time dealing with their sexuality, dealing with feeling ostracized or bullied for just being their unique selves to know that I see you, she declared. This album is for you. Be proud. And we know... Pursuant to the scriptures that um, pride comes before destruction, all right, and a holly look before a fall, all right. And what my question is: Why is she focusing on young girls, young boys? Like, man, she just trying to see these. These are just these entertainers and these people that put in certain positions of um, being being out on the spotlight to just sweep up the 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 young the, the future weirdos, man. All right, man. Like many queer folks, 32-year-old singer actress grew up hearing anti-LGB LGBT messages in church. She says her album reflects her feelings about this message. A lot of this album is a reaction to the sting of what it means to hear people in my family say all gay people are going to hell, which there is no such thing as hell. All right. Hell, when the scriptures speak about hell, it's actually speaking about um a, a difficult, dark, grave, in, a grave place, place of uh, imminent danger and death, or when it speaks about um, hell or hell fire, speaking about or the lake of fire, is speaking about lands being set ablaze by therm, uh, by thermonuclear weaponry. All right, there is no physical place of hell. There is no opposite counterpart of heaven all right so that's false but i i get the premise all right she said she said she moved past that and came to her own understanding and there you there you go seeking um uh, move after your own thoughts and your own ways all right and that there and end comes to confusion i serve the god of love she concluded all right so man that was a lot but yeah, man. This whole pansexuality movement gonna get a lot of you pe- gonna get a lot of people destroyed, man. All right, let's let's ye humbly, sincerely, and humbly repent. Which at this point, a lot man, the majority of you people are are who believe in this crap are gonna um, 
to die in it. All right. This is Romans one. And I'm start in um verse eighteen. For the wrath of of the Most High, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of the Most High is manifest in them, for Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, have shown it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made. All right. Even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse. So there is no excuse, man. First and foremost, there's going to be certain men who are going to be established on this earth to push the truth of the scriptures, man. You know what? And and with the with the seals being um, when the, with the seals at this particular point in time of the, of the scriptures being reopened. All right. There's 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 men who are who are who are being established to break down these scriptures, man. All right, and going like like it was said um, in this precept, there's invisible things from from the creation until now. Just the world in itself, the heavens, the stars, the moon, the sun, trees, birds, worms, insects, people. There's things that show that there's a higher level, a higher power with an infinite knowledge and understanding who established these things from the beginning. All right. And if you, and, and just off just off those creations, which we aren't to worship the creations of the creator. But you can see the, the, the divine spirit and inspiration of the most. You can see a portion of the divine spirit and inspiration of the most high. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the creations. So with just by that, just off from a carnal and physical sight, sense, smell, touch, hear standpoint, you should understand there is a higher power. All right. And just off that alone, there is no excuse for not understanding the the will of the most high. All right? There's no excuse if you're an Israelite. All right. Because that when they knew the most high, they glorified him not as the most high. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened because there was a time that the most high dealt with our nation, our nation being the 12 tribes of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? There was times in which he dealt with our nation on a more direct basis, meaning not just letting us get jacked up to show, to show our states being a sign and wonder to our peoples for us to realize who we were and for us to desire to desire the salvation or, yeah, to desire the salvation <laughs> from the most high out of our current state but now it's more on an indirect basis now we're getting jacked up like i said to show us a sign and wonder for us to actually go back to our power for us to get up you know for us to be be placed in a better state but because in those in those situations you always had you once again you always had niggas in israel man there's always nigger niggas in our nation all right who just for whatever reason, they were created that way. <laughs> all right. Just, just like the scriptures say. All right. Who, when they knew the most high, they glorified him not as the most high. Neither were thankful, man. So they were not even thankful of the fact, not thankful, man. But became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. So the most high just flipped the switch, man. All right. Y'all want to be queers, weirdos, and lesbians. And homosexuals and non-binaries and LGBTQ ZW <laughs> two six eights. All right, y'all go be that then, man. All right, professing verse twenty two, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools because just like Janelle said, just like uh, old girl said. All right, she said uh. Let me find it. 
I'm gonna find it, man. Lord willing. Oh. Yeah. Um. Well, she she said a lot of this album is a reaction to the sting of what it means to hear people in my family say all gay people are going to hell. She said she moved past that and came to her own understanding, man. All right. So once again, Romans 1 and 22, professing themselves to be wise, coming to your own understanding, they became fools. All right. And changed the glory of the uncorruptible Yahweh into an image made like to corrupt corruptible man and to birds and four footed beasts and creeping and creeping things. So you you man, you 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 trying to you trying to put the most size glory <coughs> in a whole different context that you can't even put it in, man. You trying to put it into something that you can't put it in, all right? You can't corrupt the 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 wisdom and knowledge you understand the most high, man. All right. But you're trying to put it in 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 boxes of well this this is this 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 is it. This this is the God. This is this is the power, you know. But you can't, man. And you and you off and you're wrong for doing that. Verse 24. Wherefore the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai also gave them up to uncleanness through through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of the most high into a lie, and worship worshipped and served the creator more the creatures like you served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever on mine. All right. And I'm uh continuing in verse 26. For this cause the most high gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their own lust one one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and received in themselves the recompense of their error, which is meat. All right, so yeah, a lot of you, a lot of you men, man, you homosexuals, man, y'all gonna be y'all big time pansexualists too, and. Once again, uh, uh, pursuant to Romans 15 and 4, things being written, a fourth time written for our learning. And um, it said, um, the most I turned them over to vile affections. And that's why I said, too, th- this is prophetic as well. All right. Because, like I said, <clears throat> things being written a fourth time being, uh, being now written for our learning. What's happening now? The same thing, man. The same thing is happening now. If you look at the usage of the term pansexual, it's it's skyrocketing, man. It's skyrocketing because it's now prophetic. <laughs> All right, like look look at the 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 usage for the term pansexual. This is like before 1900. Not even, not even a uh, term that's frequently used. All right, it it came back into existence around the nineteen twenties, but now it's skyrocketing, man. And that goes to show you the most size returning is um, turning you people. All right, you queer weirdo freaks over to your vile affections, and like I said, the vast majority of you are not going to repent, and you're going to be destroyed. All right. For believing in this garbage, man. All right, I'm gonna say it just like that, cause that's the truth of the scriptures, man. All right, I'm gonna end it with that. All right, call all you how about Shimmy how shy. All praise to the heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh shy. All right, double honors to my apostles, my elders, a great millstone. Honors and love to you, to my fellow Akim pushing the word. All right, Lord willing, you will edify. Until next time, Shalom.